guys and welcome back to my channel Crafting with Mia. Today we will be doing a watercolor tutorial. We are going to do something very basic and we're going to just be watercoloring some flowers. Now let's get started. We are going to take our paper and we are going to tape it down to our surface. We're going to do that because number one it stops the paper from moving all around and it also stops the paint from going outside the lines of where the tape are tape is and it makes sure the tape doesn't seep through any place and gets maybe on your table so taping it down is a really good thing to do and I highly suggest you do The supplies we are going to be using today are some brushes. We are going to be using some, we're not going to be using all of these, just a couple. I also am going to be using two glasses, I will talk about why in a second. And we're also going to lastly use Winsor & Newton, I'm using a Winsor & Newton color palette. You can use any watercolors, they don't have to be too fancy, we're only going to use a couple. So we're not going to be using all of them. I also suggest that you use a paper towel. It helps with if you make a mistake and or you messed up or you spill any watercolors. And also you should make your brushes dry horizontally instead of up, uh, vertically. So that's what you should do. This is the watercolors flowers we're going to be painting. And this is the brush we're going to use to make just to mix the colors. You should use your biggest brush just because it's easiest. The colors we'll be using is this kind of hot pink-ish. Uh, the more water you add, the more lighter a color gets. So if you want a color to be lighter, all you have to do is add more water. And now I'm making like a pinkish peach. So how you're gonna make that is you're gonna take a lot of pink and then you're gonna add some yellow to it and a lot of white until it gets the hue you want it to be. Also make sure to add um, a little bit of pink to make it like, except for the watercolors. Now I'm also going to be painting some green for the green leaves. And I'm also going to have one more color which is like this purpley magenta color. I'm putting some pink on the side just because we're probably going to have to mix the pink and the purple color later on. Now before I start I just want to let you know that I'm using two watercolor glasses where the water is because it helps the brushes stay clean so you can first clean you clean your brush in one and then the second one so that uh, you don't have to clean your brush it cleans it better and then your second glass is less dirty so we're going to start our painting by taking and making a rose we're going to make that by just first doing like a spiral a broken up spiral so i'm only going to be doing a couple of little circles and then as I go outwards, I make the brushes or the petals a little bit bigger. So now I'm kind of continuing, just making like lines around in a circle, but like it's like a broken up spiral, a broken circle. So we're gonna do that all around, and then we're going to go pretty far, and then we're gonna have to, later we're gonna have to keep going and making our petals bigger. Now I'm changing my brush. I'm gonna use a little bit bigger brush. I'm gonna be using uh, Benessi brushes and this size is a three if you are using the same brushes. And I'm gonna take more of that pink color and I'm gonna go around except now, since I'm using a bigger brush, but it'll be easier for my petals to be bigger. So I'm gonna keep going around, but this time I'm gonna have my petals be a little bit bigger and I'm just kind of adding more water to it as I go making it a little lighter and I also have to make sure the watercolor doesn't die out. As I go I am keep on adding more water, keep on making it bigger and then I'm gonna keep on going. It's like going around in a spiral but I keep breaking it up. Now what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit of a peach color and I'm going to go around and I'm going to take the peach and the pink and I'm mixing them together a little bit. As I go out, I'm going to keep on doing that. So as I go out now, I'm going to keep, keep on putting more peach in my color until it gets bigger and bigger as the petals go up. 
grow, I'm gonna be adding more peach so that it looks like the center is pink and then it goes out into a peachy color. You're gonna keep doing that all the way around and I'm just I'm making it a little lighter but I'm gonna keep on doing more peach. Now I'm kind of going more on the peach and I'm not really adding more pink so that I guess that effect. I'm gonna switch brushes again and this time I'm gonna use a much bigger brush. I'm going to be using a Benucci I'm still using the same brushes, but um, this time I'm gonna I'm still sticking to like the round type brushes. I'm using it eight size and I'm gonna go on and now I can make my petals even bigger. You see right now my I kinda messed up a little so I'm just taking the paper towel erasing it and going back over it again this time with a peach color that's all you have to do that's what the paper towel helps it a lot just want to let you know again that make sure when you're letting your brushes dry don't do it vertically let them lay down because otherwise it makes the bristle it tones the bristles down it can ruin your brushes if you keep drying them vertically that's why you just rest them on a paper towel and it should be fine now i'm switching back to my green color and i'm going to start making the leaves so i'm just kind of taking some green and i'm going to be making some stems and then i'm going to kind of make this shape like a leaf you just kind of put more pressure and go in like go in and out and then you're gonna do that on both sides. And then you just have to fill in the rest of the leaf. You could keep doing that for all the other leaves. I'm gonna add in a couple more leaves now. You just kind of have to have five little strokes going both ways. And I'm making one more petal, but this time you can see it from the side view. So I'm just doing three petals, and so it looks like it's from the side. And I'm going to just add the leaves in. And now I just kind of changed the added black to the green color to make it more of an olive color. And I added this one extra type of leaf there. I'm going to be adding two more roses in the middle there and this, we're using the same brushes the same concept just going outward this one's one's going to be peach and the other is going to go from peach and then i'm adding a little more pink everywhere this one's going to be the same thing going from pink to peach And then we're gonna kind of just continue doing this all the way to the other side of the paper. We're just kind of filling it with all the other different types of flowers. I'm creating more leaves and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm gonna use my magenta purpley color now and I'm gonna make a couple stems 
and then these stems are gonna be like the what I'm gonna do is um after I do these stems I'm going to do like buds and how I do this I kind of just dab so I'm mixing now my light my pink and purple color to make it like this magenta color a little lighter and then I'm going to take it and I'm using it as like a dabbing it with the brush so I'm gonna go uh, onto one of the stems and then before I do that I'm gonna just kind of create some more flowers and add this color but now I'm going to go back and dab it so I'm gonna just like dab on each side of the stem to create this beautiful flower I'm gonna do it, create another one of these side flowers, side views flowers, and now we're kind of just going in and filling wherever there's space, these flowers, and like, you can add them wherever you want to, wherever you feel like that there's space, and a lot of space. Now I'm gonna go back with a big flower and add these buds. I'm just kind of dabbing it with the side of my brush to make a flower. And I'm going back in the middle of all the flowers I had done, and I'm kind of adding some petals. I'm going to keep on like cre just creating all the flowers I want to have, and wherever there's space, I'm going to keep on filling them. I'm going to add one last rose to the right, and then after that, I'm going to just fill in everywhere where I think there should be more flowers and leaves and where there's not enough space then you can kind of go back in and add them wherever you think you should because you have it's your choice it's supposed to it's just loose and wherever you feel like there's space just add where the, some flowers are loose. should go and you will be finished. bell so you don't miss another video and also hit that like button if you like this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video